Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Bebby and today I want to take a look at Masquerada Songs and Shadows. Uh, this is a game that has been sitting in my library for quite a bit, although well, I intended to look at it although I got sick and that is generally not the state you want to be in when you're going to take your first look at a game. Uh, well, that and recording it. Uh, so, yeah, let's take a look at it. It's, uh, let's, say, let's say what it says on Steam. Navigate the masked deceptions and deadly magic of a vividly Venetian city in this fully voiced pause for tactics RPG. Um, supposedly it's a story-rich RPG, and uh, I look forward to covering it. I guess we'll do the prologue again. I did it already, but um, I guess for the, th for the sake of showing off the game and uh, what it's all about... Um, I'm going to choose the prologue because it, it does tell you a little bit about the story and such. Let's have it loading up. Uh, if it takes too long, I'll cut it out, but uh, it seems like uh, it's not going to take too long. Although, I might be wrong there. No. All right. <laughs> it's not too bad. We're already loaded. Um. Ah, there we go. There we are. Oh, very nice. Save your relief, Amadea. We're not out of the flames yet. Cyrus, we must keep moving. Brother, secure the... I hope they don't talk too much. Come. We must head to the Hall of Bearings. There are still some of us that are unarmed. I know that's kind of a, a weird... Um, a weird um, request to have of a story-rich RPG. Um, but uh, I would much rather read it myself out or something like that. Let's uh, head on to this area. I'm just going to use the mouse. I'm not going to use the west keys. I, I think that's uh, a little bit silly. I like the um, I like the whole uh, thing that shows on the ground whenever you move to a certain tile. So you know where you're going. You know where you're going, even though you're not using the west keys. Initially, I thought this was going to be like a, a cheap flash game, but it surprisingly it, it looks surprisingly good. So uh, I'm I'm very content with that. Right click on an enemy to attack it. Your companions automatically acquire enemy targets in range. The red bar represents a companion's health. All right, it's shown over there. Use one to four for skills. Um, I think we don't have skill four. No. Focus shields. Uh, the yellow bar represents focus, which absorbs incoming damage. All oh, right, I didn't actually know that before because uh, I just uh, went through it racing. But that's good. Focus arc. Uh, the yellow uh, around a character's feed denotes the shield's area. I don't know what he's looking at, but that's fine. Let's start with attacking one of these. There we go. Use one of our abilities. Uh, ice play. I don't know what it does. It uh, kind of makes people get stuck. Ah, oh, there we go. We got a uh, beam, which is very nice. You can uh, flank and uh, hit from the back your enemies. Let's see what ability 3 is all about. Alright, this is kind of the same, although uh, this time around you don't move to the actual location, so uh, this is not for strategic purposes, or uh, tactical purposes, I guess. This is uh, just for damaging uh, distant enemies. Let's just head on to the next area. There we go. It's kind of silly how it just doesn't progress out of itself, but you have to actually tap E or, or left click on it. It's kind of weird. But we uh, we got some floating masks there. I mean, that seems fitting for a game called Masquerada. I think that might be uh, a word for mask, but I'm not sure. <laughs> run. Why would you run? Don't be silly. Okay, we're going to try to hit a few enemies. Oh, wait, did it said Yeah, press spacebar to uh, pause very well. Uh, we're going to go behind this guy and then attack him. There we go. That did a shit ton of damage, actually. Probably should move out of there. There we go. He's flailing his weapon about. Can we heal him or revive him? In the heat of battle, companions might go down. Revive fallen companions during combat by right-clicking on them. All right, there we go. I mean, I can imagine that um, taking up a whole lot of time, four seconds, is, is quite a lot in the heat of the moment. So, uh, you probably should prevent your allies from falling as much as possible. Forget it. There are more than enough masquerades here. Both of you take all you can and bring them to the troops. I will tell Invidious. He should be done with... Miss? What? 
Cyrus, I'm not going anywhere. Not before that bastard is killed. Neither am I. Both of you, listen. If we are to stand any chance at winning this, our men need these masquerades. All right, I'm wondering so what I the masquerades are. And what if Portieri await him on the way back? Tell me you trust him or anyone else to defend against them. Cyrus. Honestly. No. Then go. It kind of reminds me of RuneScape characters, actually. I know you can. Which is why you need to go with Vassandra. The way they uh, move and talk and such. They'll take care of In the portrait uh, up there. Not no actually. Yeah. Now go, both of you. All right, they're going to go after the Muscreen. Oh. Don't you dare do anything foolish without me, Cyrus Gavar. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. They're going to go after the Muscreens. Make sure that uh, that's secured. You don't mean that, do you, sir? Oh, I mean it. But understanding and complying are two different things, no? She's not going to be what is he referring to? <laughs> the number of times I've heard that. I mean, I wish I could say that he looks badass, but he, that mask, he just, I don't know. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go through here? Well, no. What's this? Now, perhaps the stairs we just... Uh, oh, wait a minute. We've got another battle on our hands. Tap to switch. Switch between companions. All right, all right. So let's see. We can switch to this guy. What is his uh, ability? Blast an enemy with dirt and dust, interrupting the target and placing an uh, earth tag on him. Let's just uh, attack him. There we go. And use this ability, I suppose. Oh, he's already dead. It's not too useful then. Let's freeze that bastard. And it seems like he's already going to be dead, so probably shouldn't do too much more. I wish I could slow down to combat as well. Because it... Oh, oh, this, this is not one of mine. Because it looks like you actually pause the game. Uh, I really like the effect from... What is that game called again? Uh, Pillars of Eternity, where it's slowed down and not stopped, actually. Must do it ourselves. That sounds... Dangerous. No, we have broken into the heart of the White Spire. There are few lines of danger we have left to cross. I was about to say, we just well, killed sir. a bunch of people. If this is how it has to be. Thank you, Null. And your men as well. Umber will remember this when they fashion the laws of freedom. But not you, sir. Come on. We have a man to kill. No, we have a man to kill. All right, let's kill said men. Or man. Uh, oh, okay. That 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 staircase apparently doesn't lead to the same area, which is uh, kind of weird design-wise. I don't know why you would build a building like that, but that's fine. The White Spire, upper hallway. Cyrus, it doesn't have to end this way. Oh, that's that fellow. Okay. I am truly sorry. Go, sir. We've got you covered. All right. Let's just chase him, I guess. I think I can move back and help them out. No, okay, unable to reach a point. They're supposed to, I mean, just just now, they were able to kill those guys in no time. Uh, but right now, they're going to fight on for a few minutes. That's kind of weird. Some skills apply elemental tags on uh, affected enemies. When an elemental tag is activated, additional effects are invoked. The elemental type of the activated tag determines the invoked effect. Use call stream wash to apply a water tag on enemies. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I've, I've seen that before. Um, it did something, yeah. Use signature attack ice blade to activate the water tag to deal a burst of damage. I thought that was just extra damage, but all right, the more you know. Let's do this and then apply that damage. I don't know exactly what it did, but it did break the da uh, not the damage, the focus. There we go. Oh, it takes 10 seconds to reload. Which is appropriate, I think. Let's have them chase me. Oh, that's how you do some combos, man. Oh, that was bad. Alright, there we go. Head on to the next 
area. And the spa. This is where everything... What? Where is Avestus? Oh, Safe. okay. The corridors of the registry are twisted. You know that. Just like its leader. You oh, that. snap. Yes, I do. And you know it. Just because you have that cape on your shoulder doesn't mean that you are blind to the injustices of this broken city. Cyrus, please. You know it's in such a corrupt... It's oh, are we the ones spiral. fighting for justice, I suppose? And even if I did, what then? We are but single entities, Cyrus. How much can one person hope to achieve? Well, Nothing you'd be surprised. Themselves. But with people who believe in them, who believe with them... I'm sorry. Lucia, please. You have already cost the city too much. This must end. Oh, it's going to be an epic battle. Oh, no. I actually know what's going to happen. Bam, there we go. One hit KO. And this is where our story ends. Uh, all right, thank you very much for watching Masquerade Songs and Shadows. Actually, that's just a prologue. Goodbye, Cyrus Gavar. Oh, okay, that's... Uh... Jesus, man. Why would you not just pierce him with your sword? Alright. It's kind of weird, but uh, use your laser if you must. Apparently... Apparently the mask gives you some <laughs> magical powers. I mean, I should be weeping right now. It's very sad. Cyrus is dead. But this does allow us to move to the actual campaign. Let's see what else happens, actually. All right, yeah. Uh, I think we should go. Act one? I don't know. Let's just continue where I left off in the campaign and uh, hope that I can save. Save. Uh, soon. We'll do some ten minutes or so. Alright, the docks. This is us. There's no portrait at the top. Let's see. Can we chat with people? Well, the sky is clear. And we are, okay. We can talk with people, but there's not much interaction. These are the bad guys from just before. This is one of those mask guys. What is this? The Codex. The members of the Registry. The Twotver Twins. Ricardo and Alina. Alright, um, seems appropriate to uh, read that. Eventually, I guess, but not now. Okay, uh, the city seems to be set in a historical fashion, but there's already people of other colours. And I don't know what this is. He kind of looks like a boar, <laughs> to be completely honest. Oh, there we go. We can save right here. Huh. Oh, no, that's not save. It's a codex entry. There might uh, be no other landmark in Ombre or Umba. Uh, more significant than his docks, which most of the days of the year are occupied by trading vessels and merchant watercraft. Okay. Uh, you can read that yourself, I guess. It's not too important. I take it. <laughs> I expected the registry to be spending more on dealing with the war than prettying up their carriages. Oh, that's uh, one pretty carriage. Actually, sir, don't get me wrong. I love the finish, but sir, it's this one. What? Oh. <laughs> well, ah, all right. He thought that was his carriage. The attention we draw, the better for us, anyway. Come on, let's see if this butte can get us through. The oh man, am I just so dense? I didn't actually um, understand that he was talking to me. I didn't get that. Presence out, all of you. Make no trouble for us. You'll have none yourself. I take it crescents are the currency over here. Do it. Screw that man! Why would we give our crescents? Stop by again, you lot. It was a pleasure. Why were such cucks? Okay, they're getting bored about the day. They felt if they knew he was I don't need to read. I bet they would have thought... The car. Hear that, boys? An inspettore. You mean you know...
no trouble. <laughs> Words spoken behind a blade. The Inspettore will fetch us some. We don't need the other two. Truly. All right, I think we are in for some action. What's We're going to get a Crescent's back, though. Uh, let's pause. We do not have any abilities, it seems. All right, that's uh, that's a pity. I think we should probably take out the Ranger first. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just be harassed from or harassed from uh, from a distance. I don't really like that. Oh, that is annoying. You click on yourself, which doesn't make any sense. I think that's probably to select your character. Why are you not picking up your crescents? Where are they? Just gonna leave them be. You're gonna. You're not gonna let them keep the crescents, even though they're dead. That makes absolutely no sense. So, Ricardo. I like the style of the cinematics, actually. He more than watched, sir. He was practically gawking. Sister, relax. All I wanted to know is why you seem so surprised. Well, seven inspettores and none would stoop to a level to have contadani like us present to watch them train. Doesn't mean you can't steal a glance from the West Wing. The upper levels provide quite the view. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, sir, you're awfully comfortable around us. What do you mean? People like us, I mean, Contadani, maskless. You mean people who have... We're not even war wearing a mask ourselves. I think I'd be more worrying if I was uncomfortable, no? Well, that makes sense. Where is our mask, by the way? The Pale Isle. Oh, I like the. Oh, it might. It looks oh, beautiful, it's actually. So long since I've heard that. I heard what? Uh, slow down, please. That. The Pale Isle. For a city this dark to have a heart so bright. <sighs> Let's go. I don't even know what that means. But we'll find out in due time, I, um, I suspect. This is new. Extra security measures, sir, since the war began. I'm probably going to take more crescents out of me as well. The blade is removed from our carriage, though. Transport. And who are you transport? I see. Problem, Ilencio? Carry on. Okay. Seems like I'm well known around these parts. Well, that wasn't very polite. You don't expect them to treat war criminals with politeness, do you? I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean to. No. <laughs> Stop the coach, please. I think I'd like a little time to myself, if you don't mind. I'll make my way up to the White Spire when I'm done. Of course, sir. We'll be at the station. Ah, <laughs> some time with my sir. We all know what that means. All right. Co Contradi. Okay, that's a faction. That's probably these guys then. And uh, I have the idea that it's going to be our task to remove them from existence. Let's get this lent mark. Would actually like it if there was like a safe, uh, a place where we can save. Is there such a place? I don't know. There's no option up there, so I think we're fine, I guess. Let's just head on to our mission. Hey, what is this? Hey, aren't you forgetting something, scum? Oi, I'm talking to. Get your filthy paws off me. I never thought I'd get to see you. Oh, he's got a mask. He's what important. Do what do I want? I want you to have a taste of what we went through because of you. Oh, more fighting. Oh. <laughs> oh, the mouse has teeth. Let's it's got a big ass fight. weapon, though. Ready yourself. Oh, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I was about to say, let's flee. He's got he's got full plate armor. The man who 
lives like a coward deserves to suffer like one. Valencio, I... <laughs> <laughs> he comes in to bitch slap him. You didn't what? You clearly knocked me out. Tristan. We are in the middle of a war, Silencio. Do you understand that? I didn't... Do you understand? Yes, sir. Your masquerine is to be used against the mask runners of the city, not against its citizens, exiled or not. You okay, I'm exiled, but I'm in the city. That's understanding odd. ...understanding with regards to the utilization of masquerine. You will unbind from your masquerine and have the privilege of its company revoked for a period of ten days. Nice. It's because of me. Be waiting any longer, and it'll be thirty. <laughs> You're not so bad now, right? Go. I guess it's the uh, mask that gives you the uh, special ability. If I hadn't been out for a drink... At this time, someone's picked up some habits. Why are you here, Cicero? A man with your reputation must be either mad or desperate to return to the city. Here, read it. Summon back to Umbra. No, oh, he didn't actually give anything, but that was the latter. Your exile will be revoked, and you will be granted a grand sum of... So what? You're back for the money? I don't know what's happening, but it keeps skip, skipping frames or such. Which is weird. It only happens now. Decipher anything from this cryptic mess, please. You need to see a Vestus. Uh, accompany me. I think it'd be a good time to hear what's been going on. You mean it'd be good to have a bodyguard? I was trying to be nice. <laughs> Come on. He's in the white spire. Hey, that's where we were before. Uh, we've got a lot of entries there. But uh I think we just we, we did just enough. So um I think I'll re revisit this game, but this is my very first look. Take from it as you wish. Uh make sure to like and subscribe because it's frankly the only way to grow the channel. I need your help with that. Uh, and thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Cheers.